Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and uh, I will do a little uh, series of scanning the bands and talking about the signals that I encounter. I think this could help some people in identifying or knowing what they're listening to. Also, it's kind of a good way to get knowledge of the radio bands that we're tuning around and kind of uh, understanding what's on the air depending on the frequency range. So it's uh, 034 UTC. And uh, we are March 16th, North America, but in reality, it's March 17th, UTC. And uh, we're going to check out 3 to 4 megahertz. And I'm going to click signals and check out signals here, uh, depending on what I see in the display. And we'll see what uh, is probably in there. Try to identify anything that uh, I could be listening to. So if I hear anything special... So here, 32, 35, 36. It's not very strong, but this is what we usually uh, have as uh, NATO link 11. It's a uh, NATO encrypted uh, link between the different... Uh, North Atlantic 3D organization digital system. You probably hear that on the bands quite regularly, actually. And of course, here at 3330, it's very simple. This is CHU time signal. This is the Canadian Time Signal Station. Um, CHU is just, the transmitter site is just southwest of uh, Ottawa, uh, Ontario, Canada. So uh, this is kind of nice to see this. 3330 is that frequency where, you know, it's uh, roughly uh, a little more than 100 kilometers away from me. So I'm getting 3330 almost all day. Uh, here. Okay, what else do we have? What do we have here? There's something here. Well, this is interesting. Some kind of MFSK type mode here. Interesting. I've been popping up and showing up more and more on the bands lately. 3391 kilohertz. And by the way, that is not at all amateur band. Don't tell me this is the, oh, it's an amateur digital mode. We're not an amateur band. The amateur band of 80 meters starts right here at 3500 kilohertz. So what else do we have? We've seen some transmission here. I know that this is probably, I think 3455. Is uh, Gander or New York uh, air traffic control? So this is uh, air traffic control. There's There's been more and more uh, communications. Uh, it shows that there's a little more planes in the air now. So this is Morse code from uh, 80 meter band. This is 3580 as some uh, PSK 31. That is really, really definitively some PSK 31. Uh, 3581.5 is W1AW, which is the uh, ARRL station. They have uh, every evening a uh, Morse code 
a lesson if you want. So uh, they of course sent uh, different speeds of Morse code and uh, that is uh, to uh, help people learn Morse code or brush up on their uh, CW. 3593, I don't know what that note is, but uh, it's kind of interesting here. Um, then we of course have the voice transmission, so let's check out what's here. So this is an 80 meter band. 80 meter band is of course uh, in the evening, one of the popular one of the popular uh, amateur radio bands. Eighty meter band is always in lower side band, so you got to remember that. This is a uh, French language. It's the local uh, every night, almost every night, local uh, Southern Quebec guys. This is uh, also French language. Thirty-eight, seventy-five-ish. Thirty-eight, eighty. Amers. These guys love to use AM congested area, but they had built their own boardwalk along the inner harbor. It was very nice. They had benches out there and, and whatnot. No, no, no uh, stores or food places. Just a boardwalk, and that was nice. But, uh, but yeah, those uh, those areas are nice. I used to hang out down there a lot. Well, for work, but you know, you hang out when you can. Or you're at 3885. This is a hangout for uh, AMers, 3880, 3870, anywhere from 3870 to 3890, we can say our, uh, the AMers are there. Would you say the other one is five five hundred and fifty, and this one's uh, uh, three something? Looks wonderful on some of the other higher bands. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we're at the top now of uh, eighty meters. By the way, uh, thirty-eight, thirty-nine hundred to four thousand. It is also uh, a international, or it's actually a, a broadcast band in Europe. So if you hear 
uh, some shortwave stations there. It's normal. There are some international broadcasters there uh, at the top there. Not in North America, but often we hear them from Europe. So uh, that was a quick look at uh, what signals I've been receiving at this time. And we'll have a few more of these videos coming up. So hope you enjoy the content. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.